orange chicken. This gotta be so good. I was like, I don't think I want to see that sweet boo. Let me give you your gift now. But if oh, I do, it's okay. Goodness. I just, I had a feeling I wasn't going to see you next week. Oh, baby. You to <gasps> Did you see my charts at Rex? Yeah, yeah. Five minutes, two pushes, 100% natural. I didn't have any medicine. No medication. No medication at None. all? None. Even in the first stage? Even the first. Because I was at the house all day, babe. Like the 31st, I had yeah. contractions from 7 in the morning. Oh, and then my mom, remember my mom flew down. So she came right on time. She got to see my belly bump and she got to see her to here. But I had contractions from 7 a.m. Boo. My mom got here from the airport at 440, boo. Then Carlton was with me. Oh, he was awesome. Like we, we knew. Uh, like, he yeah, was a right. champ. And then the my rock. water <laughs> literally, right? <laughs> my water broke 1054 that night, boo. We went to Rex at eleven ten. They said I was six centimeters dilated. Awesome. Uh huh. And they said that I was over the first hump, so I got to the labor delivery boo, and within an hour, so it was midnight. So clearly, uh -huh. she uh -huh. was an August baby. So <laughs> I was in the um bed boo, and then I was eight centimeters by one thirty a.m. because it was an hour and a half. Because midnight we got to the room, mm -hmm. I was still breathing through my contractions like you taught me. Yeah. I was still just breathing through them. I had a, I, they uh -huh. got me they gave me a popsicle like you said. Oh, yeah. They gave me a popsicle. <laughs> I got my popsicle. popsicle. And then. Oh, yeah. Um, she said I was eight centimeters dilated. She said, Jalisa, you're gonna feel some pressure, boo. Like, you know, just let us know. And I was like, okay. Uh -huh. I breathed through it, girl. And then um, I went through a transition because my legs were shaking uncontrollably. Uh -huh. And then I said, can we have some privacy? Because we're gonna see her in two hours. You guys told me I'll see her in two hours. Right. So we thought. So my husband and I were praying in tongues. We we're praying, just like, God, yeah. have your way. Because we just wanted to be a special moment because we had everybody in, and right. everybody coming in, right. you know. So it is 2.25, and the lights are off. They let us have some privacy. And I said, babe, my body is pushing, but I'm not doing anything. I said, babe, can you call the doctor? Because I think I think she's trying to come, but I'm not doing anything. So babe pressed the nurse button, and they fly in there. And they're like, she's 10 centimeters. And I'm like, how y'all know? Y'all didn't check me yet. Like, just, we it, can see. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay. So then I just did what you taught me. I said, okay, I'm going to relax my shoulders like you taught me. And then I relaxed, and then oh, I love a doctor. Oh, what was her name? Doctor <gasps> Foley. Yes. Yeah. I love that woman. Okay, so when she okay, so when she came in, bless her heart, she had to like run because they were like, we have to go yeah. now. And they don't like the the nurses delivering the babies ever at rest. I didn't think so because yeah. the nurse was like, where is she? <laughs> and she was right there, but she was trying to prepare, you know. And bless her heart, when she came in, she said, oh, okay, yeah, she's ready, you know. <laughs> and then, and then um, they were laughing. They were like, this mama is strong. Because what, what happened? You know, you get some supernatural about somebody over and above. Mm. This going to be amazing. That's amazing. That is amazing. That is amazing. That's amazing that you had natural yes. childbirth, but natural childbirth, supernatural. Five minutes, just two, two pushes. pushes. And boom. Two pushes. Yes. yes. Yeah. And you're seeing the Holy Spirit. Awesome. This is amazing. So yes. your life's going to be filled with these wonderful things. So mm -hmm. we're going to pray for, you know, the Cogdell family. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to pray for whatever God gives us. Okay. Amen. Okay. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Father, we're not on the right. Oh, okay. oh. No, I'm not on this. At least y'all can, but I won't. Father, in the name of Jesus, because it would be like a proclamation. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for this family. We pray for Carla. We pray for Jalisa. We pray for. Um, we pray for their daughter. We pray. Yes, we pray for her right now yes, in the name, of, in Jesus. name of Jesus. We'll follow the blood of Jesus to this family, yes, to every place that they go, to yes, when this apartment, to their vehicles, to their jobs, yes, the places Father. that they may move to. We'll apply the blood of Jesus to those places that no yes, enemy, 
Nothing out of God can enter into that place in the name yes, of Jesus. Lord. We pray, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, that the glory Jesus. of God will descend upon this family. Yes, and we pray, Father, for the anointing to flourish in this family. Yes, mm -hmm. And we pray, Father, for the Holy Spirit to lead this family. Yes. And we pray, Father, as your word said, they will not want for any good thing. Yes, we pray, Lord. Father, you will give them the desires to their heart. Yes, we Lord. pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that money will not be anything that uh, is a lack. But money and provision will be in abundance. We yes, pray, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, that there's no disease or anything that's of the enemy that can come and touch this yes, family in the, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that if there's any weapon formed, it will fail. And no weapon formed against them will prosper. And we pray, Father, for every time that they have to walk through some trouble, walk through some type of suffering, walk through something that you know that any type of test that's given upon them, we pray, Father, that yes, any Lord. will have to pay seven to fold, amen, yes, for the trouble. Amen. We pray amen. just like yes. every time they go through something, they will prosper at the end, Thank and you, even Lord. more abundance will come. We pray, Father, that you'll make this family be a blessing, yes, that Father. they can be a blessing. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, amen. that you have heard Jesus. their prayers um, you, for each other and heard their prayers for their church and heard their prayers for their family members. Yes, we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that now they will begin to see all the prayers they prayed yes, come to pass yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. In Jesus. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that they will walk yes, among God. your anointed. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, that you will order their steps. We yes, pray, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, that their hearing will be like a megaphone, that it will hear yes, even Lord. a the still, small voice in a loud way, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Father, you open their eyes. Even though they see in the Spirit, they will see in the Spirit in a greater way. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, as they, the Holy Spirit has filled this place, they will feel the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, but they even feel the gentle touch of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that angels will work with them, bringing all the things to pass that God has said that will happen. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you will lead them. And that you will guide them. Yes, Lord. And they will fulfill the purposes yes. that you have called them to do. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus', Jesus name. name, I receive and believe that word. Amen. And it is Amen. done. Amen. 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 Praise God. I, I want to pray. Time. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, we just bless you. We praise you, Lord. And we just want to say thank you, Lord, for this beautiful life that you have brought to Carlton and Jalisa, Lord. We thank you, Father, for the supernatural childbirth that Jalisa has experienced. We thank you for the healing power of your, your anointing upon Jalisa as she has already begun to heal, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, for the gift of life and this prophetess that you have given to them, to Carlton and Jalisa. And we just pray along with Pastor Ray as we in agreement, Lord God, on all the things that he has said. But I just pray a special miracle for this family right now in the name of Jesus. That you would give them a surprise miracle of what they hadn't even thought of because you give us abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power and we know that the power of the holy spirit is in this family that's in this home that's in this area right now so we just ask you lord god for a supernatural miracle for this codwell family and we pray that you bless the mother, um, Miss Deborah Ware, right now, Lord, and her family, Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the union of this family. Thank you for the health and the, just the well-being that you have brought here today. And we just thank you for the just the cloud of um, angels that's here and for your presence that's here in this place. We just thank you, Lord God, for the life that you've given to Jaleesa and Carlton, the family that they have now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Ooh, so that's so beautiful. beautiful. She's so beautiful. Oh, Fire of God is here. That's what I felt. Amen. That's Amen. all I'm feeling right now. Praise God. Praise God. I receive and believe that word. Amen. 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 This she will be is. very good. This is she is. Yeah, and I see that at six Amen. and seven. Yes. Yeah, she's going to start at that early age. Yes. Early age. Yes. Early age. Yes. Thank you, God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Bless you. Love 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 you.
Okay. Chicken sausage with broccoli, some um, pomelo, and some mozzarella. Um, I'm using this um, barilla. Barilla is a barilla. Barilla pesto. It's like a rustic basil sauce. It smells divine. But yeah, sunflower, spinach, garlic, cheese. Um, there's cashews in there. Cool. Potato flakes, salt, cashews, basil. Awesome. So, um, don't mind that. That's just, I'm still, um, getting some of that grease off from the turkey bacon I made for breakfast. Don't mind that, mom wife. Um, but this looks so good for dinner. Um, so, super excited about that. I'm holding a baby girl right now. Let's see if she'll make him meow. Say, hey, baby girl. So pretty. Help a mama cook. Help a mama cook. You're unbothered. I love it. <laughs> She's like, mama. <laughs> mm, love you. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I struck my ring. I bothered the baby. I tried. All right, I'm about to eat this dinner. It's so good. Hubby's going to be home in about 30 minutes. So, perfect timing. Dinner's almost ready. I got it on low so I can feed her and change her. And, mom life, let's do it. Let's do it. Who <laughs> yes, she is. Who yes, she is. She loves grandma. Hey mom, what what advice would you give to the butterfly ambassadors about motherhood? It's the most precious thing that you can possibly do to be involved with being a mother. It's such a it's a blessing from the Lord. And you you just love them to no end. There's not enough words to explain how much you love them. You you, you just sit and watch them, you know, um, and they sit, they're just such a lovely little, little bodies and, and you watch them do little funny things and they, they change every day that something new is going to happen, that mm -hmm. they're going to do that's going to be different. They're going to change each day, you know, that's just the way they are. And then they grow and the next thing you know, they're walking. I mean, in the beginning, you know, they're, they, you know, they're babies and feeding them their milk and stuff. They're not able to walk anything. And before you know it, they will be trying to pull up and stand up on their own, mm -hmm. you know, getting into your pots and pans, things like that. And uh, it's it, it's a joy to be a mom. It's the best thing in the world. It is. It's the best thing in the world. It really is. You know, you become so attached to them. It's kind of hard to, to leave them a lot of times. And I can understand how moms be like, you know, they don't want to go anywhere. Well. And, and, and because you're just so attached. They've been a part of your body. Yes, so that's why I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> the when the time, when the nurses were like kept checking, I'm like, can you leave my baby alone? Yeah, but they they have to do that. They I know. Check but they're just so precious, and you just sit and watch them grow. You know, each month something different. You know, soon she'll be turning over. Yep. In her in her crib, then. When she gets enough strength, she'll be standing up in the crib. Ma, <laughs> you be sleeping. They're up. <laughs> They're up bright and early, and they will let you know I'm up. So that means you have to get up too. Yeah. Do you do that and now? Then you start crawling. Do yeah. that now? Yeah. 
You learn their stuff. You learn stuff. And, and every baby is different. Some babies crawl. Some babies don't ever crawl. Some babies go straight Some to babies walking. Go straight to walking. Mm-hmm. You know, so it just depends. Some babies go backwards. You know, it's different things that they do, but it's such a joy. Yeah. It is such a joy. She loves Grandma. Yeah, precious. Yeah. Thank you so much, Mother of Wisdom. Any tips you would give for the women that are believing God to conceive? Like any encouraging words or anything? I would strongly suggest that book, Supernatural Birth. I think of every mother um, or anybody, anybody that's expecting a child or desires a child, read that book because it has a lot of information um, very good information for for your desires and what you need to pray for. Uh, I think had that book been out years ago, it was. I think a lot of, it was out in the nineties, mommy. Was it? Mm-hmm. It was. A, it was by Jack. That's the problem. Well, you know, back yeah. in the back in the nineties, we didn't have YouTube and yeah, like Google. Well, we had Google. Wait, did we have Google? In the nineties, I don't remember. But like, it well, wasn't. No, it was hot. It was. AOL and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, this supernatural, it was on VHS, and but everybody it will bless, wouldn't. Yeah, it'll bless your, your, your heart. With CDs. And, stuff. and at the same token, not only just about having a baby, but that it speaks about different areas in your life in terms of what you should do in, in about making decisions and how yeah. you really should. Um, you should be, you should pray about a lot of things. No matter whether it's a baby or whatever, you know, Anything. your marriage or your spouse or whatever, yes. you have to do it. And, and it's important for, for the men, because that young man that was, was in the book, he was he was a warrior, a prayer warrior. Yes, he was. was. The husband? But the husband, yes. You know, and it's it's a good book for any couple. That's, um, it's, it's really good. It's, it's very inspirational, uh, very knowledgeable. And a lot of, like, so a lot of... Uh, Bible verses in there that they refer to for you to read and, and, and tell you about what to ask for. Be specific about what you want. And see, that's something that wasn't always taught. So had Tell I me about it. Girl. Taught that I, I'm no, like, oh, Lord, true. I didn't know. I, you know, it's like, Lord, oh, I you can do that? that. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, you don't have to do the norm, as, as they say, the norm. And it is, it's possible to have a supernatural birth. Mm-hmm. And I think that's wonderful to be able to experience that. No mm-hmm. pain, no medication. I think that's great. You know? Like I said, I know all everybody's body is different. Yes. You that's know, every true. female body is different, and that's true. And whatever experience that you might um, go through, somebody else might not necessarily go through that same experience. However, there could be uh, some particulars that you can just even give an advice or so you know this I experienced about A, B, C, and D you might not do that you might just do A and D right but it doesn't mean it doesn't have to still, mean still a blessing it's still a blessing and it, ha- it doesn't have to be the way what you see categorized on, 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 on television Lord. and stuff and yeah. stories and things like that because yeah. you don't have to do all that screaming and yelling and I want a pickle or I never did that with much. <laughs> we know. just wanted pasta, right? Yeah, like we. Pasta. I still love pasta to this day. Pasta and pass um, me some shrimp alfredo. <laughs> yeah, just pasta. I never wanted pickles, so I don't. I didn't get. That I do far. like pickles. <laughs> um, in terms of being very moody, I don't recall being very moody either. So that's also you have to you have to do what's best for you. But I would encourage anyone. Um, that desires to have a child, read that book first. Mm-hmm. Read that book first. Supernatural Childbirth yes. by Jackie Mize. Mm-hmm. Yeah, by Jackie Mize. Read that book. It's so good. And you have a totally, totally different um, outlook mm-hmm. on about getting pregnant and having a child. Yes. And what it's really about. And like I said, there's other areas that they talk about. You know, it's not just about having a baby. There's other things that you can do. How you know, fear should never play your heart. You should never have fear. Amen. You know, and that happens because people are misinformed. That's what what is happening. When you get misinformation, then you wow. only know what somebody has told you. You don't know for a fact. You need to research and find out things for yourself. 
honey, that thing, bless me, mom, doing that, mama. And from start to finish. Even if you're not a mother, even even if you're not trying to have a baby, just read that book, period. No, seriously, no, seriously, mom. Even if you're not, you know, even if you're not able to have children anymore, but read that book, and you're, and, and, and you're totally honest with yourself, you could say, damn. Wrote this book. I shouldn't have thinking about this because you just don't. You really do not. You have no idea that this is what it could be. You only going off what you're told. Says. You're told, told or by, told by other people experiences, and no, uh, it's not always as bad as it. it it's not that that bad. Yeah, maybe I mean, I mean that's that's to be over dramatic, but you know, yeah. If people, I guess some people do experience it, but it don't have. To. Right. Uh, that's the main thing. But uh, yeah, even if you even if you don't have you're not you not you can't have children anymore. Read that book. And you you flashback to yourself and say, Huh. Oh, see, this is what I should have done. But you know, we all make mistakes, we human. As long as you learn from it, but that then that will, you know, it'll encourage other people that are doing it to do it. I think they do the right way. Really. Thank you so much, Ma. That was awesome. So, what are some tips you would give the new glamas in the world? Because there's a lot of babies that's coming out from this this epidemic. <laughs> I would tell any of the grandmother, grandma, whichever you prefer to be called, you know, just love on your grandbabies. Love on your grandbabies. Ma, you are the MVP. You got her to go right on this week. You you know love on them See, because they're just what so are for. lovable. <laughs> yes, they are so lovable. You fall in love with them the first minute that you see them. You know. Okay, can you for just a quick second? Can you just share like how your reaction was like seeing her when we brought her home? Oh yeah. Oh, I was so excited. I know. I was, so I was trying excited. to call. I was like, I was like, mom, we're almost we're almost here. You know, because it took a, a while to I discharge us so from the hospital. So. And, uh, and I, I remember you texted and oh, said, shoot. Baby, girl, could you slow down for mommy? Let Glamma help you. Girl. Yeah. Lord. But okay, man. And she content. And content. Looking like her daddy. But you want to hold your bottle. And two weeks old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I want to be, I want to be in that bed bed. Okay. Not no baby. I'm blessed. How are you? Good. You need help. I need one of those, girl. That looks like a good fan. <laughs> I don't know if oh. oh, she's beautiful. That's pretty. <gasps> oh, so this is her. That's pretty. Okay, Maddie. I'm gonna try this one day, this true heart lip butter. I might try that lip butter. I'm in line for at Sephora right now. <sighs> this line's crazy. Just to get into Sephora. Yeah. But that is good. It's a blessed day. Good weather. It's so weird being in a line at the mall. But it's like, eh. Yeah, get used to it after a while. Look 
Look at the rainbow. This is so cute. This the green is everything. Ooh, honey crisp apple. That smells like. Ooh, that does smell good. Ooh, I like that one. Blueberry maple pancakes. Uh, what? Kind of cool. These autumn ones look so pretty. Look at this one. How pretty is that? Okay, these are gorgeous. Acorn. 